So in our last lecture, we discussed the way that you name non-stellar objects. Well, to really get the stars and know what star you're talking about or what non-stellar object is where, you have to have some way of designating position. So you've got to measure where things are in the sky. So where are things? Well, that's what we call astrometry. So that's the astronomy of positions. So you can't just say, hey, go look out the window and look and see something. You need to tell what direction to look. So you can't just say, hey, I see something here and it's like, you know, looks like six inches from something else. Well, that's no, not six inches because six inches looks like a different angle depending on how far away it is from you. So in astronomy, we measure angles, angular measures. So we would say that these two stars in the Big Dipper are five degrees apart. Uh, these stars here are six degrees apart. And so this is what we measure. And the angle measurement is related to the distance. Okay. So there, there is a measure a relationship here that you can have two objects that are different sizes, but they look the same size in the sky, the same angle, because they're different distances. Two objects could be the same size, one looks smaller than the other because it's farther away. Two objects could be the same distance and one looks smaller because it's smaller. So to really separate this out, you have to realize this relationship between the distance and the size of something. And so this is going to be geometry. There's a relationship between here and here. So it's a triangle. And so there's equations for dealing with triangles. And so that's how you'd figure this out. If you know one, you can figure out, uh, if you know, you, you have three things here. You've got the distance, you've got the angle, and you've got the size. If you know two of those three things, you can figure out the third. And so the trick is figure, figuring out the, the those things. Okay. When we make measurements, then... Everybody knows about degrees, but in astronomy, we also use arc minutes and arc seconds. Uh, this goes back to the ancient Babylonians. Uh, one arc minute is one sixtieth of a degree, and one arc second is one sixtieth of an arc minute. That means it's one thirty-six hundredth of a degree. So 28 arc minutes, or 28 minutes. So in Stellarium, you can click on two things, and it will give you a measurement between those two. And that measurement is, would, would be maybe in 28 arc minutes. Well, 28 arc minutes, each minute is 1 of a degree. So take 28, divide by 60, and that's going to give you 0.467 degrees. So that means that 28 arc minutes is 0.467 degrees. 12 degrees, 45 arc minutes. Well, 45 divided by 60 is 0.75, so 12 degrees plus 45 sixtieths is 12.75. 34 degrees, 12 minutes, 52 seconds. So the way you can do that is 34 plus 12 divided by 60 plus 52 divided by 3600, and that gives you 34.2144. So that's how many degrees. That this, this is the way that you make angular measurements. There's your formula. Okay. Most things we look at in astronomy are very far away, so the angles are pretty small. And so there's a formula that says that the angular size measured in arc seconds, because everything we look at in astronomy is very, very small, small, so a galaxy or nebula or planet, there's going to be arc seconds of angle across. D is the distance, big D is the size. So if you want to know how big it is, if you can somehow figure out how far away it is, this angle in arc seconds times the distance divided by a constant uh, 206,265, don't worry about where that comes from, but divide by that constant, and that would give you the size of the object. Well, that's how we can figure out how big a star is. 
if we can figure out how far away the star is, the angular size of the star, there's only a few stars that we can actually do this with, Betelgeuse being one of them, uh, then we can figure out the size of the star. If, if I want to know how big is a nebula, if we can somehow figure out the distance to the nebula and then multiply the distance times the angular size and then divide by the uh, this number there, that would tell you how big the nebula is. Likewise, a galaxy. We look at the Andromeda galaxy, we measure the angle across the Andromeda galaxy is. If we can somehow find the distance, and we'll talk about that later in the semester, how you find the distance, then you multiply the angular size times the distance, divide by 206265, and now you know how big the galaxy is. So this is the small angle uh, formula, and this is, this is how we're going to find sizes of astronomical objects.